Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, oh wait, yeah, there's the sleigh bells that let us know it's another holiday video. It might be almost 100 degrees here in Los Angeles, but we are getting ready for the holiday season and today we are going to discuss the newest release woo, from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. This little guy, or medium-sized guy, I should say, is one of three releases from Hourglass for the holiday season. There is also the much anticipated Ambient Lighting Volume 3 palette, which promises to be a little something for the deeper skin tones. Our fingers are crossed on that one. And there is also an edit, there's an unlocked version of this coming out as well that has two, we'll call them retro shades, and three new ones. In this palette, though, we have something kind of interesting. We have four new shades and one powder that we'll remember. So let's look at the casing first, then we're gonna do some comparisons, and we are going to do a demo, and I am going to give you my opinion as well. We have a tin case this time, which kind of reminds me of the tin case in the Curator eyeshadow series, which was a little bit expensive and got everybody a little bit ex upset, and up in arms kind of, um, but they are beautiful shadows. They're just a little bit pricey. This, speaking of pricey, is $80. So this is pricey as well. This is a, an absolutely beautiful um, container. When I say tin, it makes it sound tinny, which it seems like a negative term. It's not at all. It's a beautiful, as you see, marbled case, and it's got a really nice weight to it. When I hold up the Sculpture palette, which was last year's Hourglass Holiday, um, this is a lot lighter than this one. There's some other changes as well. The first one I'm going to mention is incredibly silly, but I swear I just want to mention it. This has a little groove right here, if I can, that makes it look like you would hold that and pull up, but it's actually one piece, so you have to kind of go under and, I don't know, klutzes in the world unite. I have trouble opening it. Last year's, there was a separation there, and you just kind of open the flap. Why am I taking our time telling you? Just please, if you ordered this and you have the same issue, could you please below so I don't feel so lonely? Okay, well, one of the major changes, let's get to some serious business here. One of the major changes with this new holiday palette is that we have five shades rather than six, okay? Though four of them are brand new, which we don't always have, we do have five shades rather than six. So here is last year's, do you remember this, guys? This is last year's Sculpture palette. It has the kind of traditional holiday hourglass six shades, two of which being powders. What they have done this year is they have replaced those two powder shades with one of their uh, Infinity Powder. You guys know the Infinity Powder? This was released on its own a while ago. I don't know if I just used it in a get ready with me or if it got a, gave it its own video. I, I think I used it in a get ready with me. It is a combination of three different powders from Hourglass. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I like to use it, as they say, as a finishing powder. The difference with finishing, you'll see in the demo, is I use it after the whole look is together. With the shimmer like the one in the Infinity Powder, I don't like to use it to set makeup, set under eyes and stuff. I don't like that mm, slight shimmer in a setting powder. I like it, though, in a finishing powder, I'll show you what I mean in the demo, so hang tight. We have two new blush shades. Okay, so we have two new blush shades. We have an ambient strobe lighting blush in Vibrant Heat, which is a pink. We're gonna see these in a swatch in a moment. And we have the ambient lighting blush in Luminous Rose, which is kind of a soft plum. Not a cool plum, pink sparkles, unfortunately. She's looking, a member of our community is looking for that really, really cool cool plum. This isn't bad, but I don't know if it's quite going to do it. We have a bronzing powder here, and of course we have our uh, strobe lighting, supernatural strobe light in a champagne shade, okay? So we have four new, and then one finishing powder replaces the two powders that are usually in the Hourglass Holiday palettes. I do not think there's much really to compare between last year's holiday in sculpture and this year's um, ambient lighting edit, but um, we'll, we'll swatch them side by side anyway. But let's start with the new one. Let's start with seeing on my arm the ambient lighting edit face palette for $80. Take a look at it there. I have swatched that finishing powder in a very heavy, heavy swatch. And then the blush, blush, and then I put the bronzer in in the end there all the way to the right is the highlighter uh, just for you to kind of see there. 
in studio lighting. We're going to take it outside and look at an outside lighting in just a moment. But first, just to show you it compared to the sculpture palette, what I have done in this swatch, let me just explain. The big swatches are from our brand new ambient lighting edit face palette. And then above it, I have put teenier little swatches trying to match up the bronzer and the powders and the blushes you'll see right now. So let's go to that. So we st still have our brand new ambient lighting edit palette at the bottom. And then as you see above it, I just tried to match up the various blushes, highlighter, etc., from last year's sculpture palette, just in case you have it and you were wondering. I don't think there's much of a similarity but just in case, now you can see, let's pop outside, shall we? I left the swatches on my arm and just in the sunlight, because I think there is just nothing better than pure sunlight to see what a shade looks like. Take a look at the same exact swatches, but outside in the sunlight, we have our brand new palette at the bottom there. And then above it, I just put teeny little dots from last year's sculpture palette, just so you can see. Now I'm very, very happy to also do individual swatch requests over on Instagram. You can ask for those below or over on Instagram, and I'll be happy to do that whenever I can accommodate you. I am always happy to do it as long as I own it. Usually I do. Sad to say, but true. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to hop on over to me with only some eye makeup and base products on. And I want to just kind of show you how I use this. I will tell you right now, because I, I filmed the outro and don't think I said it, I actually do like... I, I'm not usually a fan of the Infinity Powder, um, but I kind of liked it the way I used it today. I'm really quite pleased you can see the look, and I'm actually liking that one big Infinity Powder that's easy to get your brush into over the two little ones. I am not really a setting, finishing powder type person every day. So to just have one that you could throw a brush into, I kind of like, I actually think this is a winner this year, and I'm loving the case as well, even though I kind of griped about it a little bit earlier. I am just thinking it's absolutely beautiful. Remember what I always say, there's no shame in liking the packaging. You're paying for it. You should like it. All right, I wanna go now to a otherwise blank face and just show you how I put together the look that I am wearing today, so stay right there. Okay, so going in here, I'm going to save the Infinity Powder till the end. You know, you can kind of use it as a powder for under eyes. I'm gonna use it truly instead as a finishing powder because it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. I like that better to just finish off the look rather than set the makeup that I have on right now. Right now I just have on a foundation and a concealer. If I wanted to use this as a setting powder, I could right now, but I don't. Let's go in, uh, first of all, to the bronzer. Let's go in to the bronzer right here, which is this shade right over here. This shade, as we saw it compared to last year's, and I'm just going to kind of put it around hollows of the cheeks and kind of over and just kind of warm up my face with my big fluffy brush. So that was kind of easy and done. And when I do it with a big fluffy brush that way, it's not so precise. And so it mm, kind of mm, helps erase any skin tone issues that would make the, the bronzer look a little too heavy or too light in its shade. Okay, now I'm going to take this little Sonia G brush here and let's go into the highlighter here, down here and see how that looks. A very pretty powder. And I'm just kind of placing that under here on the high points of the cheek. Let's put some down the nose, not necessarily on the tip, maybe a little bit on the tip. Kind of up here. So we're a little bit highlighting now. That leaves us both of the blushes and the finishing powder. So let's, I have a few different blush brushes here. Two namely, I have a Lotus Set uh, Sonia G and an artist uh, from Wayne Goss. One has a little bit more density and this one is definitely very soft. Let's start with um, Vibrant Heat, this real pink shade. We're gonna mix both, but let's do one on each cheek just to start, and I'm gonna be really heavy with this kind of vibrant pink shade, just so you guys can see what it looks like. And I will have to be really heavy because in using Wayne Goss's Artist Brush, it's going to do a very light application, which I'm really happy with. Yes, you might see a little bit of powder floating through the air, but it's just very finely milled. It's not obviously a sign of any 
issues with the blush. Now, again, I went overboard on that purposefully so that you guys can see it. Let me show you this brush here with our second blush shade, which is our Luminous Rose, kind of a soft plum. And I've been speaking, looking for a plum shade, so. This is not a cool enough plum, maybe. Okay, so there we have both blushes very heavily applied, one on each cheek. And now I'm going to kind of mix it. I'll use the same brush that I used on the soft plum uh, for the plum over here. Boy, are we gonna get dark real fast. That's okay. Here we are mixed. And if you notice, we still have the reflection from the highlighter. A lot of you guys ask about pores and texture and what this does to pores and texture. Well, hopefully we will be erasing that now because I have a face one brush in my hand from Sonia G and I'm going to go into the, the Infinity Powder here. Now this is not really my favorite finishing powder, but it's not really a bad one. I don't mind a nice little bit of a shimmer to a finishing powder. Don't like shimmer to set eyes and and things like under eyes and things. Now I am going to take this uh, and just kind of buff in. This will buff the blush better. I'll show you just one side here. And it will also just kind of make all the makeup and all the shades kind of go together and give it a more finished look. And I know I'm doing this very quickly, but I'm just kind of buffing it in. Now, I just wanna show you the difference and see if you can see it. So here is our finishing powder on this side of the face and nothing on this side. And as you see, this side looks a little bit more put together. I know our blushes weren't perfectly even, guys. I was just doing a demo for you to see. When you buff it in like this, and perhaps you'll do a more uh, demure job of buffing it in than I do, my little quick, quick passes here. You will notice that when you do it right and whether I am doing it quickly or not, it works. You haven't removed any of the blush because you're buffing and you haven't removed any of the highlighter either. So if you look here, I'm just doing buffing motions. Everything is still in place. It just looks a little bit smoother and I think that is very, very pretty that way. So let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be picking this up or any of the three holiday uh, palettes from Hourglass. I actually think this is really, really nice. And funnily enough, I'm kind of, can I change my mind a little bit here? I'm kind of liking the Infinity Powder over these two blushes and the highlighter. Oh, and the bronzer, I suppose, too. More than I did before, so maybe I need to take that another look at that, and maybe now that it's in here with its brothers and sisters, maybe I'm just liking it a little more. That's interesting. All right, tell me your thoughts. If you have a deeper skin tone, did you purchase the, the um, volume three of the ambient lighting? Because uh, I will really want to know your thoughts on that. There's a lot hinging on this for the public opinion of Hourglass, right? They're kind of lately the brand we all love, dot, 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 to hate, right? So I'm really kind of curious about that and I want your reports. I want you to tell me if you're gonna invest in any of these three. I think this is just such a nice one. I'm quite pleased with this look, you guys. All right, tell me your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I sure hope you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.